I needed to first deal with my own history to really be able to make myself receptive to other people's history and do justice in trying to capture somebody's horrific experience. I spent a lot of time looking through the historic archives where many of these photographs from World War II, not just in Slovenia, but in all of former Yugoslavia were kept. Um, it became a daunting and haunting experience because there are images there that victims that are children, um, very young children, or the aggressor would pose with the victim um, as though it was some sort of a trophy. The inhumanity is just um, indescribable. And having to stare at him over and over and over and over again to reinterpret that image, it forced me to continue thinking about it. You know, this was uh, a continuous process that probably claimed little chunks of my soul. It was important to address the lack of accountability for individuals like Bishop Rojman, whom the church has been trying to rebrand despite having collaborated with Nazis. In fact, I intend to drip white paint over all the Finnish paintings to demonstrate this whitewashing. Part of the intent is for the viewer to also get drawn into this image um, and when you see an individual being executed in these paintings, these drawings, these are not criminals, these are not non-entities. When you see a woman being executed, that's somebody's mother. When you see a man being shot, that's somebody's son, that's somebody's brother, that's somebody's father. These, are re these were real people with real lives and their stories were left untold. We are responsible we are for future generations based on the, the past that we've learned. And if we represent it now in, with, a, with a historically inaccurate spin, that can become a dangerous practice. Um, because it's true, he who does not remember history or learn from history is bound to repeat it.